Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sabouts, and welcome to Hairy Little Buggers, uh, sort of a uh, fortress building simulation game with some humor to it. It's a lot of fun, uh, very challenging game, uh, more of like a uh, easy to learn but hard to master kind of game. We're gonna check it out. Reminds me of games like Dwarf Fortress or. Um, Keeper RL. In fact, the developer uh, watched my Keeper RL series and reached out to me thinking that this would be a game that I would enjoy. So we're going to check it out. Let's go ahead and play the game. Here's the tutorial here. Highly recommend doing it. Very helpful. We've got a free build and a Dwarven Forest build uh, that we can uh, that we can go through. We're going to do the Dwarven Forest. Uh, if the door of forest isn't hard enough for you, which, um, if it isn't, then I'm impressed. Uh, there are different challenges here that are a lot more difficult. We're not going to do any of these right now because I can't even beat the door of a fortress. That's how hard that is. But, um, we've got the frozen waste, the sun's anvil and hell. So those are pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and, uh, start the game though. Oh, also, if you want to read these, go ahead and pause the video and you can read them. I'm not going to read them myself, but. Dwarven Forest. Okay, very first thing we want to do. You have risen to become the leader of the dwarves. May you reign, be long and prosperous to glory. And we're going to pause the game right off the bat. Because we got to get our bearings. So here is our dwarves, essentially. We have a queen, a uh, warrior we start off with. He sucks. We've got a miner, a blacksmith, a stonecutter, smelter, janitor, and a builder. And we'll learn about these roles uh, more on as we continue. But uh, the queen, we got to protect them. If we lose the queen, we die. If we lose our uh, warrior, we pretty much die because then everybody dies after that. So it's extremely uh, uh, difficult, but we're going to do our best. This is the ground level here or essentially uh, top level. You can't really move around this as big as the map is, but it's big enough uh, for what you need to do. Uh, down here's the different tabs for uh, building. We've got a sickness tab. Uh, every single time one of our dwarves essentially defecates on the ground, this uh, number increases, and then uh, as the turns tick over, this number goes up. If it caps out to 100, then dwarves die, and it's not a good thing. And then we've got 8 out of 10 dwarves right now. We want to get that maxed out as fast as we can. This is our birth rate turn over, so every 60 seconds we get a new baby dwarf. And uh, after that, that baby dwarf will uh, turn to a full adult dwarf, usually around 70, uh, 70 seconds. And then uh, down, this is our down in the bottom right hand corner, our like, uh, I guess, uh, sub level reader. It just lets us know what level we're on. So you can see we can go down and check out the different levels. And that'll tell you what level you're on. And then our goblins, are, uh, the wave is arriving in 518 turns. So let's go ahead and go down uh, a couple levels here so we can see what we're dealing with. Okay. All right. And we'll go down about that far for now. So here's where our ore is. Um, a little bit better start than I've had before, but not that great. Um, so we're going to get the limestone first. The limestone is the most important. I'm going to go ahead and unpause the game now, but I'm going to be using the pause button a lot because when that first goblin wave comes, it pretty much wrecks you if you're not uh, at a certain point. So he's getting the limestone ore kind of dug out there. Once he's done doing that, let's go ahead and get a stonework built right here, right now and get it done. And we're going to move it one more over like that. We're not going to do this one yet, but I do want to get the stonework down. Now this is our limestone ore here to actually mine it. We got to put an ore face down. So we're going to put those down there. And get those constructed. That's going to let us actually mine that. And then to actually queue up mining it, we've got to drop limestone ore blueprints. I'm not going to do it just yet because I do want him to finish up this room uh, fairly quickly. Once he's done with that though, we're actually going to drop these stoneworks. Uh, we drag and drop the room essentially over it like so. It'll fill the 4x4 four four area or the 2x2 two two, I mean. And then, oh, not an anvil. We need to put a pedestal in there. Now to build the pedestal, we actually need limestone ore. So we're going to go ahead and queue up to get some dug now. And we're going to queue up to get some limestone blocks done. Now you see our miner ran off. He's uh, getting it on with another dwarf here who is about to give birth, which is good because that'll give us another dwarf worker uh, after the baby's uh, grown though, which we can see here, 88 seconds for that one. It seems to be uh, different every time from what I can tell. 
So he's mining us some limestone now. Our stone cutter will be busy doing his thing once uh, we get a couple and there he goes. So he's going to go and start cutting those. Now we want to get a bathroom up next because this sickness thing can really hurt us. So we're going to dig right up here and get the bathroom ready to go. It might feel like things are uh, hurrying along pretty quickly and that's because they are. You have to move extremely quickly with this game if you're going to actually survive the first like two waves. Okay, so we've got that there. Let's get the bathroom down and we're going to go ahead and furnish the bathroom with a toilet like so. That's going to take a limestone block to get complete. And we can see we've got one limestone, two limestone blocks out. That's very good. So somebody should go ahead and haul those over here and get that built. I'm going to pause the game again so we can figure out the next room we want to build. And I think the next thing we want to build after that, it's always tough to know what to go for next. I think we should get our queen down here, but at the same time, I kind of want to go for the metalworks as fast as possible. We should definitely dig out this iron at least. We could actually go like that and dig it out. Because then what I can do is put a room here. So let's do that. Let's kind of dig over. That's going to give us coal and iron at the same time as we dig out our metalworks area. Now this is sort of like a puzzle game to an extent because you've got to do everything in like a particular like pattern, like order. If you don't, you're going to die. Like the timer is just, you're going to get completely wrecked. Okay, we've got baby dwarves coming along. 19 turns, good. So we'll have another worker here soon, which we definitely want. And uh, I wish somebody would get this toilet built, but I see nobody's hauling me limestone blocks for whatever reason. Um, I can't imagine why that's not happening. Oh, because we don't have a worker technically. Everybody's got a... We don't have like a hauler. So hopefully this guy will be born soon. There he goes. Rips off his diaper and he's coming down a haul of limestone block. Uh, more than likely. Holy crap. We got to pause the game again so I can drag some ore faces down. We want to get this one right here in front of iron. And then we'll grab some for the coal. Let's get the metal, the metal work room laid out and the furnace down. There. And then the next room after that is we want to get the... Um, we want to go ahead and get... Uh, we want to dorm so we're going to want to put that up somewhere but we want to get the queen's room done and that needs to be nine blocks so two four six eight um that's not really going to work unless i go into here then it would i guess um so yeah why don't you go ahead and get that out we want to get the queen's throne room done because uh if she's up here if she gets killed we lose and the goblin wave is going to come pretty quickly it might not feel like it but i can assure you it's going to be quick and it's going to be a mess. So get that out pretty quickly. Let's queue up another limestone block as well. And then two coal. And we're not going to do iron ore just yet. But we will do it uh, soon. Maybe we'll throw one up. Just for the heck of it. Because the furnace needs some coal actually. So hurry up and get this dug out please. Because we're only 300 turns away. We're doing alright so far compared to some of the other play, uh, playthroughs I've done by myself. Uh, this is a lot better, but it's not my best. Um, we want to cue that to get... Oh, we got to get the throne room actually down. There we go. And let's cue the throne to go in there. And somebody will haul a limestone block down there. So he's going to go ahead and get us some coal, which is good. We needed to get our coal lamp uh, relit. But we also needed to get our furnace uh, up and running so we can get some iron blocks. Speaking of furnace, the next important thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Get more coal and stuff. Get all that material. I don't want you mining anything else. Yeah, you went all the way over there still, though. Uh, that's lost me a lot of time. I should have just kept him doing that then because at that point I lost worthless time. Yeah, get me some coal so I can get this up. I can get the furnace up. Okay, we're going to get that, so our queen's going to be down there soon. 250 turns. We're really cutting it close for where I need to be. Okay, good. He's hauling, which means he's done doing everything else. So let's get the next room up and running. And this room here is going to be a smithy room. And well as he's doing that, let's go ahead and branch off of this part off to the side here. And let's build a dorm right here in this area and let's get an anvil down oh wait we got to get the smithy constructed first there we go oh he didn't oh he didn't finish it see that's what happens and then he's got to run all the way up there oh no 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 
It's like you can't have him doing that because it messes everything up. And I just realized I don't have any limestone blocks queued up. What does this need? Oh, it can't have multiple openings. Okay, so that won't work. I didn't realize that was a thing. We'll fill that then. There, now you don't technically have another opening, so I probably... Okay, don't do that. Okay, pause the game because things are getting out of control. Okay, smithy. I wasn't aware that I couldn't have like multiple openings. I don't want to construct another wall there now. I need to get a dorm up and running, so I don't see why I can't technically... You know what? I can get rid of that then. So just leave that there like that for now, right? Because then... Oh, boy. I don't know how I want to do this now. I can't have multiple openings. So technically, I could go like this and do the dorm like this. What are you doing? Okay, I was going to say, like, don't do anything you shouldn't do. And I can go like that for now, technically. And he can just go through and build some dorms over here. But we'll get the smithy up and running nonetheless. And I've got some iron ore out and ready. Uh, let's get some more iron ore, and let's queue up an iron uh, an iron bar actually because I need to make sure I'm getting these resources queued up. I got to keep these guys busy, but at the same time I need to make sure I'm providing the resources. So it's kind of tricky. It's it's a tough balance, but we want to get these dorms up and running because we need we need more dwarves like ASAP. So dormitory. Get some bunk beds in here for now, like that. Okay, good. There, and we're getting some more limestone blocks because it's going to take some limestone blocks to get these up and running. Let's queue up some more limestone blocks to be carved while we're at it. And we got some bars coming, so let's go ahead and right off the bat queue up chain mail and a spear. And that'll keep him busy once we get these blocks going. Now get up here. Okay, so so far, not bad. We're actually going to have it looks like, for the most part, we might have our first piece of armor right off the bat, which is pretty impressive. We need to queue up some more coal, though. And some more iron bars. Or at least some more raw iron so we can get some more iron bars. And we got the dormitory, so we can get more dwarves now, which is a pretty big deal. Okay, we've got a spear, so we just need to get the chain mail. Do we have another bar? I don't think we do, but if we get some more coal, then we should get one pretty quickly. And he's actually going to make another bar now. So we're going to have the chain mail very quickly, which means we're going to have our first militia almost before the first wave. So I'm actually doing fairly decent right now. Knock on wood, I do not want to get jinxed. Okay, another baby dwarf on the way. Good, good, good. Okay, we got to keep moving. I'm actually going to pause it real quick was I think because I don't want any chance of anybody sitting anywhere. So what's next? Um, getting another militia. So really, I don't want to queue anything up till that's done except for queuing things up that's going to keep my miner busy moving. He can't stop. He's the most important role. If, if anybody's going to stop. It, it's got to not be him. It's got to be anybody else but him. So just queue up a bunch of crap to keep him busy. And somebody please get that chain mail. If I can get the first militia out, that's super important. Okay, yes. And somebody's bringing an iron bar there. I'm actually going to get the first militia out before the first wave. This is unheard of for me. This is good. This is good. We are on a good pace. Finally, it feels like it's been so long since I've done decent. We're going to have the first militia. I want to get a stock room up, but I'm not going to worry about it next. I think the stock room is what kills me every time. So somebody's going to go over there and be a militia right now. There we go. We've got a militia. Get up here. Get up here, militia. You're going to help fight off the first wave of goblins, and it's actually a pretty aggressive wave. Um, so let's see. He's going to go kill that one. You're going to go kill that one. Okay, good job, guys. Now go finish off this last one. Um, okay, I don't like the fact that he ran all the way over there. I'd like it if they kind of did it together but okay so we lost our militia but as long as this guy doesn't die we're gonna be okay there we go okay so the militia died pretty quickly i kind of figured that was gonna happen did we lose the it looks like we technically lost the armor so we're gonna queue up some more pause the game again i can't believe he died that quickly that's what kind of sucks though is your guys like they suck at what they do 
Okay, the stock room is something we do want to get built, but um, getting this stuff is still more important. If I manually do this, it's actually a lot more efficient than the stock room technically as of now. And I want to get like I want to get like two militias going. So let's I want to have them plus the uh, the big guard up top. So let's go get these bars moving. Okay, so our miner, we can start slowly digging out the stock room area. Like just a little bit at a time. I don't want to go too nuts. But let's slowly start getting it dug out. Um, all right, sickness is staying pretty good. I don't think I need another janitor. We've already got the spear constructed and we're already getting already getting some other stuff constructed. Let's get these bars going. It is actually quicker for me to do it like this, funny enough. As long as I keep on top of it. The stock room just comes in handy when eventually you can't keep on top of it anymore, which will happen at some point. But as long as I keep on top of it, this is actually a lot more effective than what I'm used to doing. Okay, get me another militia. And I've got babies still being crapped out, so I should be able to queue up two militias without an issue. I don't know how many peasants do I have though. Looks like I only got two like regular peasants, so we better be careful. Because they're kind of our haulers, so okay, so now we've got one more militia already. And we're gonna have another one up here soon enough. Once these babies grow up. And that one's about to grow up, so let's just go ahead and queue up the next militia. Okay, let's get the stock room kind of built out next. One. Oh, it's gotta actually designate the stock room. Okay, pause the game as I do all of that. Don't mind that out, please. Okay, so the actual stock room. So we move the stockpiles down here. And that's how we actually get the stock rooms. And then we'll take these blueprints. These blueprints here that I've been dragging out, which is technically telling my miner what to mine. Once I put those blueprints on here, that'll just make sure that he constantly refills that order. So I don't have to keep dragging it out. It'll just be there. I'm going to drag a few more things out, though, just to keep him busy while the stockpile gets done because he has nothing to do with that. It's going to take the limestone blocks, actually, to finish those. So I'll queue up some more limestone blocks as well. However, we are at the end of this first episode, so we did it. We made it through an episode. Holy crap. You guys have no idea. This is like the sixth time I've recorded the first episode. I'm I'm uh, um, very, very happy to finally have it done um, because, because it's been a long time. So uh, that's it. These episodes are going to be a little bit shorter because, again... Uh, this is kind of a short playthrough of the game anyways, and I say that because I will die eventually. Uh, that first wave alone was already pretty rough, but uh, we do got a militia and a guard there. We're doing all right, and we're going to have another militia up here soon. So I think this has so far been my best playthrough. We'll see how it goes. If we die the next episode, then we die, and that's just how it goes. Hi, everyone. I thank you guys for joining me. I do hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.